All right, let's talk about the exciting topic of DNA mutations. DNA mutations. Well, let's give a little basics before we begin. So DNA is read in codon, and those are simply triplets of the DNA code. So you may have a U, an A, a C, or a G. And a codon is going to be a triplet of those. So in any combination, since there's three different, uh, different codes that you read, uh, there are 64 different combinations. Since there are four different types, uh, you can have 64 different combinations. So uh, we do know that since there's only 20 amino acids, but there's 64 combinations, we know that there's some double up. So some of those combinations may show the same amino acid. And three of them are going to be stop codons. So three of those code are going to be stop codons. That's going to be UAG in that order. UAA and also UAG. When you when the DNA uh, sees that, it'll introduce a stop codon. That means no more amino acids will be added to the chain. That means your chain's going to stop at the stop codon. UGA, UAA, UAG. So let's take a look at some code. First, I have it in sentence format because this is in my mind easier to make sense of. So what, is, what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at the wild type. The wild type is going to be our perfect sentence with no mutations in it. So the sentence will read, one, two, big zoo. That's the perfect sentence. That's, that's what our DNA likes. That's our sentence. Notice how uh, three-letter words, so one, two, big zoo, those are all three-letter words, just like our DNA code is written in three-letter codes. Uh, so let's introduce our first mutation and our missense mutation. The sentence would read one two bit zoo. I underlined the mutation here and the T. Uh, this is where we have a mutation in one of the letters here. It doesn't affect the rest of the sentence and for the most part we can understand. The body understands what what this sentence is saying. It's saying one two bit zoo kind of sounds like one, two, big zoo, kind of the same thing. So yes, it may change the word, but you know, for the most part, it will not change much. Uh, then let's move on to a nonsense mutation. A nonsense mutation is where we introduce a stop codon, so UGA, UAA, or UAG, abnormally early into the sequence. So BIG would have switched into a stop codon, therefore stopping literally everything from there and beyond. So our protein gets truncated and it's a horrible mutation. Nonsense mutations are very damaging. Next let's show a frame shift mutation. This is the sentence, one tzu obig zu. So what happened? Okay, well, I inserted a Z in there. If we take out the Z, I'm gonna move my cursor over the Z kinda like we're hiding it. If we hide that Z, and read the sentence now, it says 1-T-W-O-B-I-G-Z-O. So it's, it's still got everything there, except because we look at that original sentence, one, two, big zoo. All we did is we moved everything over one. We shifted, we frame shifted. And a frame shift can happen either with an insertion, kind of like I inserted a Z right in there, or it could happen with a deletion, if we just deleted one or two of those. Um, so frame shift will affect everything downstream of that mutation. Let's look at an insertion mutation. An insertion mutation. It's one, two, and big zoo. Where did this and come from? It's kind of like we just inserted it. But notice how it's a triplet. It's a codon, and it does not affect anything downstream. Big zoo is still fine. We just inserted new triplet in there. So it's going to make a new protein, it's going to make a new sentence, however, uh, it's not going to affect everything that was there before. Uh, let's look at a deletion, one, two, zoo. Uh, we lost the word big, we lost big. We deleted it, it's not a stop codon because everything downstream can still go, so zoo is still there. So it's not a stop codon, we just deleted a triplet. So. Had we just deleted two, so had we just deleted the bi, gzo would have been our next, which would have given us a frame shift mutation. So frame shift mutations happen when one, two get inserted or deleted. 
but when three get inserted or deleted, it's called an insertion and deletion. Uh, that's a pretty big uh, thing to remember. Frame shift will affect everything downstream, insertion and deletion will not. All right, and then lastly, we have a duplication mutation. And this is where you simply duplicate one of the codes. So one, two, two, big zoo. We just simply duplicated this code on, this triplet here. So those are the different types of mutations in sentence format. So now let's move over to genetic code. All right, so we just moved from English code now into genetic code. It's same format where we have the triplets and each triplet encodes for a different amino acid. It stands for a different word, a different amino acid. So now let's take a look here. Uh, the wild type is gonna still be our normal A plus perfect no mutation sentence. So here's our code. It's gonna be a U, U, A, C, A, U, G, G, U. The U, U, A will encode for a leucine. The C, A, U will encode for a histidine. And the G, G, U will encode for a glycine. All right, so let's take a look at our first missense mutation. Uh, I, we have the U, U, A, we have the C, A, and then here is our first mutation. It's gonna be the U turning into a C and the rest of it is still GGU. So the U turning into a C is going to be our miss sense mutation. So the third place, so in our triplet, when it's in the third place, sometimes a U or a mutation will occur. And that mutation will encode for the same amino acid. So a CAU and a CAC both encode for a histidine. This is called wobble. Now, a missense mutation doesn't always have to be wobble, but this is a silent mutation because the U turns into a C. It is still a mutation because the U did turn into a C. It's, it's not the same, but it's silent because they both encode for the same amino acid. And that is an important subject. So wobble is the third place, uh, third uh, spot of the codon, the triplet uh, changing. Um, also, I want to point out again that since there are four different letters, so you could have a U, a C, an A, or a G in your code, and they're triplets, so they're triplets, and you can do any combination of those, there are 64 different possibilities. There are 64 different combinations of those four letters and three triplet formats. So the triplet format with those four letters, 64 combinations, well, I said there are only 20 amino acids, and there's 64 combinations. That means that some of these combinations, like CAU and CAC, must encode for the same thing. They both, these, for example, encode for a histidine. All right, so now let's talk about nonsense mutation. A nonsense mutation is where you insert an early stop codon. Remember the stop codons were UGA, UAA, UAG. A very important to remember and they don't encode for any amino acid. So in this example, we have a mutation. We have a UUA in our normal, and we have a UAA here. So what happened? Well, this middle U turned into an A, and UAA is one of our stop codons. So that means our body says, stop reading, we are not adding any more amino acids to this chain. So everything downstream will be gone will be wiped out. Your body stops at the stop codon. So in comparison to our wild type, everything is gone. Um, these nonsense mutations are very damaging to the, to the body. So now let's take a look at the frame shift mutation. We have a UUA, CUA, UU, UGG. What's different between this one and this one? Well, if you notice, I underlined everything that's different pretend that all of a sudden I put in an extra U in the middle of this word, right after this C between the A and the C. By putting in that extra U, I'm shifting everything over. The body still reads it in triplets, however. So instead of reading C-A-U, it's now gonna read C-U-A. However, if I kind of hover over this U, pretend it's not there, pretend that U is not there, if you read, it would read a C-A, and then U over here. So the triplet is still there. However, since we put in a new one, it's reading it in a different frame. Therefore, it's a frame shift. And everything downstream of this mutation will change. 
So over in parentheses over here, our UUA is identical, so it's still a leucine. However, since we changed up this uh, middle one, we changed a histidine to a leucine. And then also, since we're reading in a different frame now, the GGU turns into an UG, and it turns into an arginine. All right, so that's frame shift. Everything downstream changes, uh, not good. Now we have an insertion mutation. Remember the insertion mutation was, uh, in the previous sentence example, we inserted the word and in there. It's not anything like, uh, like these, I mean, we're not, we're not duplicating, we're just inserting new material in there, and we're inserting a triplet. Uh, we're inserting something that will not cause a frame shift. It'll still read in the frame. So for example, UUA, UUA, CAU, CAU, GGU, GGU. Everything's still there. However, we're inserting a different amino acid like GCU, which encodes for alanine amino acid. So we're just inserting new material in there. Finally, not finally, but second to last, we've got deletion. Deletion, we still have the UUA, UUA. We got rid of what was in here. We deleted that triplet. But since we deleted it as a triplet, everything downstream still reads normally. Had we deleted a few of them, but not everything, had we deleted just the C or deleted maybe the CA, it would have frame shift us because we would now be reading UGG instead of GGU. So be careful on that. Deletion, we're deleting that whole triplet or a triplet of three or a com multiplier of three. All right, and then our last one is duplication. Uh, very easy to save in the easiest for last, duplication. UAA, UAA, we just duplicated that triplet. We didn't duplicate just one, we duplicated the whole triplet. Uh, everything downstream is still the same. So these are these are the, uh, the kind of basics of the genetic code mutations, both in genetic format and in sentence format. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this, please click like or subscribe. And uh, be sure to tell all your friends about it, and uh, have a good day. Thanks.